Hi, my name is Naveen Chand. I'm a Principal Lead Program Manager on the Office 365 Core Ecosystem Team. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the exciting new features we're building called connectors and walk you through how you can start using them today as part of a developer preview. Connectors integrate with key tools and services and enable users to view rich, interactive notifications, updates, and content directly from within their Outlook groups. This allows them to keep all of their discussions in one place and stay up to date regardless of what service and event may have happened in. For developers, connectors support a generic incoming webhook, which allows them to integrate with custom solutions and generate rich, responsive cards. There's also a custom widget which you can embed in your site so that your users can connect directly to Office 365 from your web page. Let's walk through these features in some more details with demos. The first thing I'd like to show is group connectors. Here I am in the Outlook web app, and I'm currently navigated to one of the O365 groups named Development. Office 365 groups enable users to simplify collaboration through a shared inbox, calendar, file repository, and notebook. And connectors allow users within the group to connect to third-party services so that they can keep up to date on what's happening and have all of their discussions in one place. As connectors are currently in preview, in order to enable the connectors option, once you're logged into the group, you'll need to add a parameter onto the URL. This will enable the connectors option on the dot 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 affordance. Clicking on the dot 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 affordance then will show you connectors as one of the available menu options. Selecting connectors then shows you a curated list of services which we believe are high value for our users. You'll see this list evolve over time. Only connectors that are ready to be available will be shown. Today I'm going to walk you through configuring the Twitter connector. So navigating down to Twitter, I click on Add. And you'll notice that I've already added this Twitter connector to another group, which is why I have an authenticated account that's already available. To walk you through the entire flow, however, I'm going to walk you through adding another Twitter account. So when I click on Add a New Account, I get prompted from Twitter to work through the OAuth flow. So I type in an account that I have, password, Click Sign In and authorize the account to be connected to Office 365. Now, each one of the configuration pages has the ability to be uniquely configured depending on the integration. For example, for Twitter, I have the ability to either follow a specific person or a specific hashtag. In this case, I'm going to follow Office 365. Clicking on Save saves that configuration. Anyone who's a member of the group can configure, view, or remove connectors, but only the person who originally set up the connector can modify it. Here you can see that I now have one connector that's been configured to Twitter. Going back to the group, I see a welcome mail indicating that this group has now been connected up to Twitter. The person who connected the group as well as the types of events that will start coming down. In this case, tweets containing hashtag Office 365. Here's an example of one of the cards that gets generated when somebody actually tweets. You'll notice that there's a set of actions that show up, in this case, view on Twitter. For other services, you also have the ability to have additional buttons appear. Now, these buttons allow users to take action against that third-party service directly from within their Outlook experience. For the preview, only the view action is supported. For services which aren't yet available on the configurations page but support our connector format, users can connect to them via an incoming webhook. To create one, they navigate to our connector configuration page again, select Incoming Webhook, click Add, Create, and type in the name of the incoming webhook. Copying it to the clipboard and saving, they'll find that a new welcome mail has been generated indicating that this group has had a webhook address added to it. Here is a sample of the Office 365 connector JSON format. As you can see, it's simple JSON. Using the concept of sections, we allow you to create cards which scale gracefully and enables you to customize the look and feel of your cards, including images, schema.org actions, and markdown support. 
By entering in the webhook address that we copied, I can then execute a post operation onto it. And navigating back to my group, I see new activity has come in. And a connector card was actually created. So this is a card that was basically defined in the previous JSON payload. In addition to allowing users to set up this configuration from within Office 365, we also have a widget which you can include on your website. The widget will walk users through connecting their, your site to their Office 365 group. Here's a sample website I created which includes the Connect to Office 365 button. When a user clicks on it, they'll be prompted for their Office 365 credentials, but as I'm already logged in to OA, I didn't see that prompt. Afterwards, they'll see a page which asks them if they'd like to grant permissions for this site to connect into their Office 365 group. Developers pass in a title, icon, and callback URL into this page, so users can identify what they're actually connecting up to. They then see a list of their groups. By selecting marketing, we decide to connect these two together. In the sample application, what we have now done is received that incoming webhook URL and stored it. And on my sample app, I now actually have a simple JSON payload, which again is in the same JSON format that I'm gonna submit in. Navigating back to the site, I see that in the marketing group, I've got both the welcome email, as well as some new activity that indicates that the card was generated and sent in. Call to action. Now that you've seen the demos, we're excited for you to start using and developing connectors. As I mentioned, the developer preview is available now, and general availability will be early next year. For more information, please check dev.outlook.com, and under the connectors section, you'll find everything you need to get started. For feedback, please use our user voice page or Stack Overflow Office 365 connectors. Thanks for attending this session. I hope you found it useful. Happy coding.